Ta-ta! Hello, kids! Hope you're doing great because I'm doing great today. Because I'm starting a new series. And it's going to be art lessons for kids. Alright, today I want to talk about perspective. Because perspective is really important, kids. It gives depth to our drawings. And it also adds volume to our geometrical shapes. A cube is a very helpful shape when we're trying to learn perspective, kids. Because it's a lot easier to explain perspective with a cube. And how do we start drawing a cube? With a square, of course, because cubes are made out of six squares. I'm using a really red for my square. And the next thing is, I need to find a place in my paper for a point. That point is very important, kids. It's called the vanishing point, and our perspective is going to go towards that point. It's like the shapes in my drawing will be trying to reach that point. I decided to use a great green for my vanishing point. And I'm gonna use a lot of colors while I'm drawing this because I wanna show you each step of perspective drawing in a different color. It's gonna make it more fun and a lot easier to understand. I think. I mean, I hope. Anyway, now it's time to draw our perspective lines. I'm gonna use a yabba dabba yellow for my perspective lines because I want them to look lighter. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to connect the corners of my red square to the green point. So that means I'm going to draw four lines. Each of them will start from a different corner, but they will all arrive to the green point. Great! We're gonna use these yellow lines for the depth of our cube. Now I'm gonna grab my red marker again, my really red marker. Because it's time to draw the back edges of this cube. And how do we know where to put the back edges of this cube? Since my green point is on the upper right corner of my paper, the back edges are going to be on the right side and on the upside of my square. And these two new lines are going to be parallel to the right edge of my square and the upper edge of my square. Now we come to the most exciting part. It's time to connect the dots, kids. We will draw over the three yellow lines between our back edges and our front edges so that we can see our cube in full form. And voila! I think it looks pretty good, kids. What do you think? I like it. I'm sure yours looks better, but still, I like mine too. And now it's time to grab my black marker because I want to define my cube even better, even stronger, kids. That's why I'm going to go over the red lines, the really red lines, with a thick black marker. I think using different colors for each step made it a lot easier to understand. Do you agree? Well, I hope you do. If you agree, kids, I mean, if you like the way I explained it, please write it in the comments so I know. I think our cube is really starting to pop out, kids. What do you think? I mean, it has a great perspective too. It looks very realistic. And to make it even more fun and learn some more, I'm going to start painting my cube. And each side will have a different color. We see three sides of this cube now. The front side, the right side and the upper side. I'm using a yabba dabba yellow for the right side of this cube. For the front side, which is facing towards us, I'm going to use a really red. Because it's so flashy. And also, these three colors I'm gonna be using are connected somehow, kids. Yeah, and that's the information, that's the lesson we're gonna be learning. An extra lesson for this video, because it's a perspective video, but I'm gonna give you another information. But before that, here's another tip. While you're painting with markers, if you try to keep your strokes in the same direction, your painting will look a lot more consistent. So when you fill your shapes, it's not gonna be cloudy, but it's gonna look like solid colors. For the upper side of my cube, I'm gonna use the best blue color. Which brings us to the second lesson in this video. What are those three colors, I mean red, blue and yellow, have in common? Hmm are of course the primary colors kids yeah red yellow and blue are the primary colors so we learned something new today again like we never do that 